Episode 2, Three Weeks at Tanham Sands, Part 1. Tanham Tans. No, Tanham Sands. <laughs> Are you drunk? No. <laughs> Dyslexic. Dyslexic wife. I said, helping Uncle Carl do his work. Although well, I'm not working, I'm researching. Researching spots along the Gib River Road. Little Miss Harper. Hmm? We are such a cutie. Hey! <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. I just want to pick you up. Oh, I've got you. Bye bye. What are you doing? Harper! Hello baby girl, we'll be back soon, we'll be back soon, going for a walk. I need content. <laughs> yeah, but not rubbish content. <laughs> I, I think we both need new clothes, babe. Why's that? Well, you don't have many shorts. <laughs> My dresses are full of holes. My last pair of thongs. My skirts are falling down, not because I've lost weight, but the elastic's gone. My old t-shirts are looking a bit faded. This is the Boyne River. I don't know what it is. No, it can't be. No, it's definitely moving. Yeah, that moved. It definitely it negotiated that. Um, could be a little eel or something. It's not a snake, I don't think. Come on, what are you? Right, let's go and see if we can find our little friendly snakey, eely thingy bobbin. Definitely looking at us though, wasn't he? He was definitely watching. He didn't like me coming down with the camera and he grabbed onto the bottom and stopped moving. Right. He was floating on the current. Lots of intelligence out there, not just me. This is a, a, an intelligence free zone. No intelligence here. Again, that's their boundary. Oh, look where the grass stops. I don't think that's going to come out. We just look like two ducks. We are doing carbonara. Here we have Pecorino Romeo. Four egg yolks. Supposed to have speck, but couldn't get any, so we're using bacon. We have pepper. And we have the pasta. I'm going to put some pepper into the pocorino and I'm going to cook up the bacon. Bacon is cooking, water is boiling. I don't have my videographer with me at the moment, so I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to add in the pasta. So my sous chef has joined me. <laughs> yeah, right. He's going to beat up the four egg yolks. Put it into there. Come on, camera woman. You put it into there and then you can. Oh, that's very hygienic using your hands. I washed them. <laughs> Stupid. Pecorino. And you're going to mix it up. It's going to be very, very cheesy. So, when the pasta is cooked, which is going to take another five minutes, I reckon, you put some water into the bacon, you stir it. Lots of bacon. And then you put the pasta into the bacon. We need to save water because it's amazing how much water it needs. And then we take it off the heat and we add in a cheesy egg. egg. We've turned the pasta off. Yep. I'm not even in the show, okay. You are? Well, your boobies are. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't. I'm not going to use it. Alright, stop, stop. Right, so I've turned the pasta off. I'm grabbing some water. This should still be on. Put some water into the bacon. Then I'm going to grab this. Put this in. Turn everything off. Off, off, off. In fact, we're going to swap places. I get the manual labour work. Yep. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. I don't think it's enough water, but... Okay. 
You have to stir vigorously when you put it in. All right, just dump it in. Dump it in. Vigorously stir. Vigor. So it doesn't actually cook that handsome husband. Oh, look at me. Could be on the telly. Oh, you're on YouTube, babe. Look at that creamy sauce. And there's no cream in this. And people think you need cream for it. Now I'm going to put olives in mine, but my husband won't. Nope, don't do olives. Show me a bit of the water on that side. See how creamy that looks. Look at that creamy, lovely sauce. We'll have our salad later. Salad? What's that? We got to start listening. An absolute oh, mess. We but there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think I might put some peanut butter in mine. Not supposed to be part of the dish, but yeah. <laughs> Right. Right, that's it. There you go. Oh, that's our carbonara. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. Still got loads for tomorrow. Said I want her to taste her love to Right, we're off to church. Woohoo! Swimming day. We're off to the beach. To church. Church isn't that far, it's about five minutes. There's a storage container on the road. My city church. Oh, nice and green though, isn't it? Yeah. Most houses are in pretty good shape as well. There's not really any rough looking dodgy ones. No. I haven't seen any anyway. We're not in this area. And it's taken us three and a half minutes to get here. of a microphone test. Yep. So we've got me with a fluffy, or dead cat. Colleen's got Don't no fluffy. Don't call it a dead cat. Let's <laughs> call it a fluffy. <laughs> oh, it's well out, babe. Yeah, well it is because it's low tide. We're talking less with microphones than we did without microphones. <laughs> so why have we got Classic. microphones on though? So everyone can hear what we're saying. So uh, talking to the camera. Talking to the. No, no, you turn the camera around. And talk to oh, you mean? Uh, yeah. Talking to the camera. <laughs> oh look, there's wifey over there too. I can sit on the chair now because there's no snaky grass. You're not sitting down then. Well, no, because I was thinking about walking elsewhere and talking to you. Oh. So, we're, so we're separate to each other. No, you can stay no, seated. No, 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 it's okay, babe. I want to talk to you. I'm sure. That's unusual. Really? Yeah, you normally tell me to go away. <laughs> this looks interesting. This grass on the right is a bit long. I think it's a different type of grass. <laughs> That's where the snakeys will be. Ah, oh, yeah. What? The people who are house sitting for, their son-in-law is a snake catcher. You mean Craig? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Now we're walking away from the river. Oh, path is changing. That looks like snaky country. Looks interesting. This looks like fun. Reminds me a bit of Africa, this, the tall grass. This would be a lot more interesting if we were actually walking to a waterfall or something like <laughs> that. <laughs> we're only doing mic tests, babe. But we did need to do a mic test as well. Swapping camera people. Bit smelly. Oh, that was me. Ah. Oh. Only joking. We have taken delivery of Colleen's portable folding piano. 88 key piano. So let's have a look at this. So what we got in here, we got the power adapter, the USB cable, and the sustain pedal. And we've got the bag and what looks like the music stand. The connections on the back. When it locks, there's a clip to release, which is there. So to release it, you press that and then you can fold it again. does have a battery inside it, which apparently has got about eight hours worth of use on it. I'm not quite sure how to begin to a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> 
just that my pedal. That's your pedal, just a simple pedal. That's the sustain pedal there. That's a mic and that's MP3. Unbelievably complex user manual. <laughs> that's like, that's the whole user manual. I got my piano. Okay, five seconds before you start talking. Not the greatest of sounds. Piano. Now that I've been using the keyboard for three weeks, there's a few things I've discovered about it. One is this, you can't put any weight on it because it just falls over. All right, so that is not good. So just like books, fine, but you can't put anything of any weight here because it just go. Phoop. The other one is I've noticed when I'm playing, it's quite hard to play if you're playing really into the piano. And sometimes, even though it's weighted, sometimes you get that very loud sound, a bit like a keyboard that has no weight. So that was just a um, what I discovered about the piano. But apart from that, it's still a piano, and I can play it in the bush. Welcome to Vocal Tuition. This is the first lesson I have on the road whilst we're house sitting in Tannum Sands. My first two students is Alicia and Andrea. So what I do is I'm on Skype and I'll be connecting to them as soon as it hits 54. So I don't have a second hand on here. So far, so good. Hello Alicia. Hello. You are my first student on the road. Good to see you. You're looking great. Thank you. Sunday morning, feeling good or bleeding love? Uh, we do Sunday morning. Sunday morning, two bubbles. <laughs> She's getting her straw. It's basically water, straw. You blow through the straw into the water whilst making a sound and it's a lovely, easy way to warm your voice up without it hurting or anything like that. This is Ashton and Everly. We are having a theory lesson at the moment. On the floor? On the floor, this is our table. On our table. Three, three of us fit on the table. Yes. It's quite comfortable actually. Everly, do you remember what this one's called? Yes. What's it called? Frog chip. And how many beats? One. <laughs> and then Ashton, can you remember the last thing? So you give it a tail? Yeah, put a tail. And what's it called? Uh, Quake. Quaver. 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 How many beats? Half a beat. Very good. It's what? not enough. No, I want the whole thing recorded because then I can just nick bits out of it. Okay. Oh, why are you getting bored? Oh, uh, we'll go and change the battery then. <laughs> go and change the battery. Do me a minimum note in that bottom space. Here? Yeah. Do we colour our minimum? No, minims aren't coloured in. It's the crotches that are coloured in. That's it. Very good. And then do me the minimum rest. So it's the middle line and it's sitting up. Looks like a hat. One, two, three, four. Push your hand out. Yes, breathe out, push your hand in. Breathe in, breathe out. Papa, you don't know you're beautiful. Papa, that's what makes you beautiful. Go in the camera. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.